Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a payasam recipe. It's a sweet and this is with soya. Soya, soya, soya. All soya, nice and healthy. And I'm going to teach you how to make a payasam with this soya granules. So first, just take a pan. In this, we're going to add some ghee. You know, we are making a sweet, so add good amount of ghee. This is only, dear friends, to encourage you to try out some good variations with soya. And here, today I'm going to add some rice. If you want, you can use some sago, even some, you know, pressed rice. And you can make this payasam. We are going to slightly roast this rice. And also, dear friends, some finely chopped coconut pieces. This is fresh coconut. And saute this. And also we are going to add some raisins and some cashew nuts and we are going to slightly cook it and then we are going to add the soya. So friends here you can see the raisins have popped up and even the rice has colored little bit and now we are going to add the soya. And this also I am going to slightly saute in this ghee. First we are going to add water and then we are going to cook till it is 70% done and then we are going to add milk and cook for another 30% mmm nice ghee flavor and you know the soya flavor along with the ghee I'm going to add water and we are going to cook this in a slow flame till it is 70% done so just cover this with a lid and I'm going to wait for you know 5 to 10 minutes dear friends after 10 minutes of slow simmering our rice and the soya granules have perfectly cooked it is, you know, 80% done, no problem. And now I'm going to just remove this lid. You can see it's nicely boiling. You can't even make out that there is a soya in this. And now we are going to add the cardamom powder for nice flavoring and also milk. And we are going to add sugar. As per sweetness, you can add sugar. And let this simmer for at least three minutes and your dish will be ready. Friends, here you can see our soya payasam is nicely boiling after adding milk. And you can see this has become thick and you can just switch off the flame. If you want more of thin, then you can add more of milk. But don't add too much water, otherwise this will be watery watery. Add as per you know how much you need to cook the rice. Based on that only you add the water and later on add more of milk so that you will get the sweet flavor. And now just transfer this into a bowl to have this hot hot payasam, nice ghee. Mm. It's hot, I love payasams when they are nice and hot. Difference, this is so yummy. The coconut pieces are nicely, you know, I roasted it in the ghee, so I'm getting the little bit of that crispness and I don't even feel that I added a soya in this and rice is also very very less not too much rice if you want you can grind the rice and even you can add and make it like firni wow this is yummy yummy paisam I don't have any more words to express about this paisam this is such a nice and tasty. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this simple, healthy soya payasam. If you like it, make it and also share it with your friends so that everybody can love this food.